Hi, this is uh, Stefan Lassager from the iTutor podcast, which you can find at uh, itutorpodcast.com. The iTutor podcast is normally a Dutch Macintosh video tutorial podcast, but uh, for this month I've made an exception. The topic for this show was suggested by a fellow Nocilla Castaway during the live recording of the Nocilla Cast podcast, which is hosted at podfee.com. Someone in the chat room was mentioning that it was a bit difficult to use keywords correctly in Aperture and have them uh, pictures tagged with correct keywords and things like that. And that's when I asked if they were using a specific uh, keyword hierarchy in Aperture. And apparently a few people didn't really understand what I was meaning. So I suggested uh, I would make a video tutorial about it and uh, here we are. This is my first ever English uh, screencast, so sorry for uh, the funny accent. But we have a lot of stuff to cover in this tutorial, so let's uh, get started right away. Let's get started by uh, starting Aperture. Uh, I had it started already. So uh, the first topic of today is creating keywords and creating a keyword hierarchy. And uh, creating keywords in Aperture is actually fairly easy. You can start by opening up the Keyword Hub using the Window menu. And you can find that in Window, Show Keywords Hut. Or you can shim simply press uh, the keyboard shortcut Shift plus H, which will display or hide the Keywords Hut for you. And this is the interface you can use to add or remove or, or uh, organize your keywords. Let me reposition this uh, in the middle of the screen. Here we go. As you can see, I have already some keywords in here. For example, I have some keywords which are related to a geographical uh, places. All keywords in my system are mostly in Dutch, but uh, it should be fairly easy to understand what, uh, what they mean. So the top keyword is uh, geographical. And then I have uh, Within that uh, keyword, I have several keywords for each continent. For example, Europe. For Europe, I have keywords uh, related to the countries, Belgium, for example. Then for each each province, I have a keyword within Belgium, Antwerp, or let's take uh, Oost Vlaanderen. And then I have, uh, again, sub keywords for uh, big cities like Ghent or Everham. And within that, I have uh, keywords for smaller towns within that region, like Ertfelde, the town where I live. And for that town, I have a few things, uh, important places uh, within Ertfelde, which might be important. And as you can see, I have a complete hierarchy of keywords uh, set up like that. And not only for geographical purposes, but also for, uh, I started doing for architectural like for example, buildings, uh, castle, church, and mills, for events, typical events, uh, fauna, animals, uh, really separated by uh, kind of animal, like for example, insects, reptiles, fish, birds, uh, mammals. For example, the birds are then again separated into different ca categories like uh, uh, birds of prey, um, no idea what the others are in ostriches, uh, ostrich types, and these are singing birds, I think, but no idea what the correct uh, English translation is. And for uh, birds of prey, I have uh, falcons and different falcons here uh, within that category. You can use this uh, keywords hut to create keywords and create your own hierarchy. Let's, for example, say I'm, f I'm taking pictures of, of airplanes and I want to uh, organize them by, uh, by type, by brand and by type. Well, I could create a hierarchy for that. For example, uh, create a new keyword at the current level in the hierarchy, which might be airplanes. There you go. And then I can add keywords within that airplanes uh, keyword. As you can see, there is a button uh, to add a subordinate keyword. For example, I could click that and uh, add Airbus. Click it again to add a certain type of Airbus, like the A320. Then head one level up. And uh, I want to create another type of uh, airplanes, for example, mm, which could be 
the Piper. And Piper created a PA28. And there were different versions of that. There was a Cherokee. And there was a Warrior. In that way, I can uh, create a hierarchy of keywords, which I can then use to tag my pictures. And the goal is, in the end, to tag my pictures, for example, with just keyword A320. And the system will know that it means it is an Airbus and also it is uh, airplanes. So, for example, if I would add A320 to a picture, it would implicitly also add the tag Airbus and add the tag airplanes to it as well. So I can find it back later on. But I'll give you a demo of that in a further uh, chapter of this tutorial. Now, of course, you can also uh, organize keywords in here. For example, uh, let's say I'm just uh, adding another type of airplanes. Mm. Let's say I'm here in the hierarchy and I add a new keyword, Boeing, for example. I can easily use the keywords to reorganize my keywords as well. For example, I can pick uh, Boeing and drag it and drop it within the airplanes tag. And if now I had any pictures uh, which already had the Boeing keyword, they will be, uh, the system will ask you if you are sure you want to move the keyword. And if you do move the keyword, now it, the, these pictures will also have the other keywords as well. But I'll show you a demo of that later on. So this is an, an easy interface to add keywords, to manage your keywords. But there are other ways to uh, uh, create keywords as well in Aperture. You can, for example, create keywords on import. And that's something which we will see in a minute. Now that we know how we can create keywords and how we can organize keywords, we can also have a look at uh, how to add keywords to pictures, for example, on import of pictures. I have a few pictures here on a, on a memory card, so uh, I'll, have sh I'll show you how I do it. Import pictures. It will read all pictures from the card. And I have a few pictures here uh, from a motocross event. Uh, quite a lot of them actually. So I can select them all uh, and check the rest of for uh, and now check the, the selection. And here on the right you can see that I already set up a few things which should be added to the uh, EXIF data of the pictures which I import. For example creator, uh, my contact information, but I can also add things like uh, image country, Belgium, State or province is Oost-Vlaanderen, city is Erdvelde. And for example, I could add some keywords as well. Uh, keywords Erdvelde. And uh, I could also say uh, motorcross. Sadly, I didn't find a way how to uh, immediately use the keywords from our hierarchy because I have Erdfeld already in a hierarchy, for example, uh, Geographical, Euro, Belgium, Oost-Vlaanderen, uh, Evergem, Erdfeld. Sadly, I didn't find a way yet to uh, pick the correct uh, keyword here, but that should be no problem at all since we can move the keywords in the hierarchy once the import is done. Okay, I'll import uh, the set of pictures here. And I'll come back to you once the import is done and I'll show you how to move the keywords to the correct place. Okay, as you can see, uh, the import was successful and I've already made a little selection of uh, pictures I want to keep. Now, as I mentioned before, it, uh, during the import, I had indicated that I wanted to add two keywords to uh, the pictures. But sadly, I couldn't place them in the correct pl uh, order in the, in the keyword hierarchy I wanted. So let's have a look at the keyword HUD again. Shift H to bring up the keyword HUD. And now you can see here uh, that I have a keyword for Erdfelde, which has been added, and a keyword for Motocross, which has been added. I can easily reorganize these uh, keywords. As you can see, I already have 279 pictures with that keyword. Now I can easily 
replace or uh, move that keyword by dragging it to the current location, for example, sports. Here I want to uh, let it go. And as you can see, I already have um, motocross in there. So uh, Aperture comes up with a warning saying, okay, the keyword motocross is in use by uh, X number of pictures. Do you really, really want to move it? Move the keyword, yes. And as there was already a motocross uh, keyword within the sports keyword uh, on which I dropped it, it asks me if I want to merge those two keywords together. Of course, I want to merge it, yep, merge them together. And as you can see, the keyword has been moved and it still knows that I have 279 pictures with that keyword. The same for Artfile, for example. I know I already have it here in my geographical hierarchy. Europe, Belgium, Oost Vlaanderen, Evergem. And I have here a keyword Artfile. So I can simply drag and drop Artfile within Evergem. And the system will tell me, okay, you have X number of pictures already with that keyword. Do you want to move it? Yes, I want to move it. Or I already found the keyword Erdfelder within that level of the hierarchy. Do you want to merge both keywords? Yes, merge them. And now you can see that uh, all my pictures are tagged with the keywords Erdfelder and uh, Motocross within the correct hierarchy. Let's have a look at the metadata, metadata for uh, these images. And as you can see, the two keywords have been added to the pictures, Erdfelder and Motocross. Implicitly, it will also have uh, all the other tags above it in the hierarchy, of course. In the next chapter, we will also have a look at how to add keywords after the import by uh, using the keyword HUD. I think by now we have covered almost everything and there is to cover about keywords and the keyword hierarchy. Uh, hopefully you will be able to incorporate uh, this into your own workflow and the task of adding and using keywords in Aperture will become a lot easier by using the hierarchy. If you have any tips or suggestions, uh, feel free to contact me at info at adutorpodcast.com. And if you really enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to head over to the iTunes Music Store and uh, search for the iTutor podcast and click through to the page for the iTutor podcast in the iTunes music store and drop us a review in here and maybe give us a rating or something like that. Additionally, you can also head over to our website itutorpodcast.com and click through to the uh, podcast page where you will find an, uh, a new entry for this episode, episode number 26. Uh, feel free to uh, post a comment in there. And uh, as I mentioned at the start of this tutorial, this is normally uh, a Dutch Macintosh uh, video tutorial podcast, but who knows, uh, depending on the reactions I get, I might add a few more English ones in the future. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I hope you really learned something from it. And uh, I hope to hear you back soon in the future. Thank you.